77 captives held in church basement for quote-unquote rapture by Nigerian pastor freed. Recently, the police rescued at least 77 people from inside an evangelical church in the Nigerian state of Ondo. Pastor David uh, Ani, Ani Fowose, Fowoshi promised the churchgoers that the rapture would occur soon and they would ascend to heaven. He initially promised the second coming of Jesus would occur in April 2022, but soon changed the arrival date to September 2022. The authorities suspected that this was a mass kidnapping or child trafficking incident. The police suspected the church after uh, suspected inspected the church after a report filed by a mother whose children had disappeared. Many captives resisted when the police arrived at the church to rescue them. They refused to leave the premises and even cursed the concerned parents that came to take their children back home. Of the people freed by the police, 54 were adults, 23 were children, some under the age of 10. The president of the local youth club, uh, Famikiwa Luka Skakaki, said that during interrogation, the church members had, quote unquote, walked into the basement themselves, willingly walked into the basement themselves. So this is a pretty crazy incident. This sounds like a Jonestown level incident that was averted. So there were 77 people that were being kept in this tiny little church basement in Nigeria because the pastor had convinced them that the second coming of Jesus Christ was going to come soon and that they needed to be within God's house on the church premises in the basement for when the rapture came. And there were some reports people had been in the church since January and other people were come like came and convinced to go in a bit later than that. Some, yeah, some people were in there since January. Some people have been in there since April. Um, and it it's just crazy they this sounds like a really destructive cult like apparently the people in the local area are really disturbed by the activities of this church like they literally just disturb their everyday life like they're constantly they have services like at all hours of the day there'll be people passing out because they're not even getting enough sleep because of all these services um and that there were parents who said that the teachings of this church have convinced their children to drop out of school and they weren't able to get their their children back from this church. And um, the pastor would even preach like the Bible doesn't tell us anything about education. Like we just need to be preparing for what comes next. So like if that doesn't sound like a death cult, I don't know what else does. So yeah, this was basically a, a, a cult that kidnapped a bunch of people. What was the end goal of putting people in the basement? I don't understand. I'm so, sorry. I was. Uh, That's not entirely clear. Just they said that they need to be in the basement for when the rapture comes, and they've been in did there. They for do a anything month. to them? In the, did they do anything to them in the basement, or just held them there to just in the basement for months? I don't know what went on. I don't know what went on in that basement. That hasn't really been reported on yet. I mean, it was tiny. So wouldn't the basement like be the worst place to be if rapture is coming? Like, wouldn't you want to have like, wouldn't you want to be somewhere with no ceiling? Like, like, wouldn't you want to be like, make it easy? Yeah, if they're going to understand. ascend, right? Why are you putting them in the basement? Are you trying to stop them from rapture? They like, probably had a... some weird explanation point for it, but obviously, in reality, it's just to control them. Yeah, control them for what? Like, okay, this does. Okay, this is wacko, both from a religious standard, but for also from a strategic. Like, like I'm just trying to figure out what to have. Like, there's okay. Let me just think. Rapture is coming. Quick, go into the basement. Um, doesn't make sense. Maybe, the, maybe this guy. Okay, okay, now I get it. Okay, so th these were his favorite people, and he knew that they're good Christians, so they would be raised, and he just wanted to keep them. They were like, maybe if I just put them in the basement, the rapture wouldn't work on them. Maybe he didn't just want to lose his flock. He was just having so much a good time, like mm -hmm. trying to save mm -hmm. them from Jesus. Does it make does it do they explain it? Like, I don't understand. Like, how does this This wasn't explained in the news reports, but I mean it's 
how do you even explain it? Because these people are clear victims of indoctrination. And mm -hmm. you can tell that by the fact that when the police came and opened up the doors and said, you can leave now, they said, no, we're like, we're here voluntarily. We want to stay. Like they had to force oh them. God. to leave. That's how deep this goes. So th that is clear proof that they are under coercive control. They have been subjected to undue influence because you do not accept helplessness unless you have been trained to accept helplessness continually through every element of your immediate environment being controlled. So this is like textbook, textbook, like thought reform, destructive cult techniques. And it's just really sad because in all the articles I was reading about this from Nigerian newspapers, they were saying like that because of lack of proper infrastructure in many communities, like religious figures have an inordinate amount of influence and respect over their local communities. And this is a very severe example of that. Yeah. Again, Nigeria is like, by the way, this is another example for a lot of people who think Nigeria's problems are Islam. This is another example to show that Nigeria's problems are religion. Okay, not just oh, Islam. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyways, I think we should move on to the next news. Unless mm -hmm. you want to highlight, read any comments. Oh, wait, we have a video. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, it's not as relevant. It just like shows okay. what the basement looked like. We can look at that if we want. But Secular Rarity is saying, this is like the Church of Scientology. They currently have dozens of members locked away in rooms, unable to leave or contact people. But if you ask them, those people, if they would stay, they would say that they chose this. Yes, that is, that is coercive control. That is thought reform. That is proof of indoctrination. Um, hmm. Wait, it'll show you some footage of the basement in a little while. Oh, there yeah, we go. So, here so, what the so for people like. for people who are listening to this on the audio, you should come on YouTube and watch the video version. This okay, I don't version. know how big this basement was, but this seems tiny. I'm like, how the hell were there 77 people 77, on here? Yeah, this is not big enough for 77. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. That was the main point. Where did they on. poop? Did they poop in the basement? I don't ask. Okay. I don't blame you. Seems like it was, seems like it would have smelled. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.